big tech's vicious censorship. Because of this digital tyranny, we had to give the American people their voice back by building something called Troth, Truth Central. Troth, Truth Central. It's essential, is what I always say, to have the truth. He's trying to say Truth Social there, which is his social media company. Now, I can forgive him for forgetting its name since he apparently for several months had forgotten that it even existed. Despite all of this work and all of this money going into creating an obvious clone of Twitter, he sent one truth way back in the day, this before it was even available. Get ready, your favorite president will see you soon. Soon it turns out was a relative phrase because weeks and weeks and weeks went by and we criticized him along the way. How are you not engaging on the social media platform you built? But finally, he did. Troth Central got another troth with him trothing. I'm back. Hashtag Kofefe. And then looking like he's wandering around on a big grassy lawn where I think they were playing croquet. I'm not exactly sure, Brett. But he finally sent his second, his first ever while it's live, truth. Why do you think he's suddenly changing and suddenly engaging with a social media company? Elon Musk, (laughs) 100%. I love it. I haven't had a chance to talk about Elon Musk, but essentially this is great because Elon Musk buying Twitter is like you convincing yourself, your friend to buy a boat. Like they pay (laughs) for it. They add all this money on a total money suck. Like of all the big tech companies, it is the least, it's only been profitable two years ever. And the most recent ones, it has not been. Um, But Trump looking around being like, I got tons of time, Jack Dorsey. The left hates Twitter or the right hates Twitter. I'm gonna get him back. And then Elon Musk goes and buys Twitter and the right wingers are like, "Oh, I don't need truth social anymore. So Trump has to reactionarily tweet, no, 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 there's a party at my place tonight. You can't go to that Mm -hmm. one. And all the people who are running it are like, I don't even know the name of it anymore. Truth Central, do we have to change it now? Because he got it wrong. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's it's pretty see through. I mean, it still doesn't provide a satisfying answer to the question, why wouldn't he have been engaging on it before? Like if you believe the numbers on if we can go back to his troth, if you believe those numbers, it was spread 46,000 retroths, 111 hearts, I don't know what they call them there. A lot of people replying that that looks similar to his activity on Twitter back in the day. So I guess he could have been getting what he wanted out of it, but he waited until now the right wingers are all hot for for Twitter. That just seems like a terrible call. Now that it's Elon like he's Musk not a good businessman. Now that Elon Musk owns Twitter, he needs to sue Trump and Troth Central for stealing every bit of the way it looks and every bit of its functionality. Like that I would, would love be to see hilarious that. Brett. So yeah, that, good because it so clearly is ripping off all of their stuff, their UI and everything. How no, but, but it's totally different because you get a red check mark on Troth Central. Exactly. How fun. Let's go Troth Central. <laughs> Let's go brand <laughs> and exercise. Excited for it. I love anyway. that the, it's not a like, it's a like, really like. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> By the way, their arguments against the Ministry of Truth that Biden set up or whatever undercut a little bit by the fact that you've set up Truth Social and you're sending your truths. So, mm, bit of a bad call there too. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.